I've chosen a few papers to begin with. These are the ones I've chosen. It's not a, this is not a thinking activity. This really is all about working from our gut, going with our instinct, our impulses. Mine tends to be right in the middle of my tummy. Hmm. Yeah, it almost feels like I'm putting a jigsaw together tonight. Now, I don't know why I want that there, and I don't need to... I don't need to really know. I find it interesting that that's there, as opposed to around the edge, like the other pieces have gone this, this, with this painting. But there it is. Sometimes bringing ourselves to our senses, you know, what can I smell, what can I hear, what, what does the ground feel like beneath my feet right now, things like that. Okay, interesting, no idea why I'm putting that there. However, I'm trusting that it's right. Sometimes paints, you know, colours just do that to us. I'm still tussling between this way round and big roots, or the other way round with small roots and these being branches. I see so much in these roots uh, where I added the white in between the what were branches at the time. I see lots of things like the this person here who I'm wondering if you can see her here. This is her face. She's got a lilac face, eye, eyebrow, white hair. And she appears to be um, naked and I feel that this is a baby, like she's just given birth. And there's all, almost a sort of fetal position about her as well. I'm just going to spiral around a bit. I love the texture. I also like the fact that it kind of looks like an eye in the middle. Hmm. Just asking myself, you know, why are you talking about boundaries right now and thinking about how this tree, the, the branches here, cup around the moon as if they're protecting the moon. I really feel like I'm quite close to the end of this process and it's been really rich. So much has come out of this uh, for me and a lot of it, you know, because I've shared with you as I've worked. So I'm noticing inside my head, I'm saying to myself, oh gosh, maybe this is too dark. And I'm also noticing my critic sort of putting his hands, hands on his hips and frowning at me, muttering, you know, are you never happy? I'm just gonna ignore him because he's not gonna be helpful. And, I guess whenever we push through barriers and take risks like this, then there is always the, the critic to get, you know, jumps out and has a go. And um, I guess we can get fearful and doubtful whenever we do anything different or new.